back. It's your boy, Obz. This is, this is take two. I just took a take, and then the camera fell down, and then I had to readjust. Of course, it clipped that out. Since I'm not doing clips, I've only been doing one take, so I have to get into editing videos and stuff like that. I just want to keep it chronological. Just want to run everything down. But, but I have realized that just got through eating some cake. Didn't exercise today like I wanted to, but I did lift some weights last night. You know what? I thought I had enough room over here. The things got kind of shifted around. Let's see. I don't even know if I got enough room to do any jumping jacks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something better than nothing, right? But just sitting there planning on uh, those out of one of my little books is that willpower is not always on will call. That was from the one thing book. They said they had did a study where people wanted to how did that willpower work in making choices to eat something healthy or eat a sugary snack. Well, what they had to do, they had these people remember a four-digit number or something like that. And people, were, it's an easy number to remember, but when they add it to a six-digit number, they started, the people with the four-digit number still chose a healthy snack. People with a six-digit number went back, they chose a sugary snack. Just that additional brain power usage makes us make different decisions and I, and I looked at it I looked at it you know just that's why we got to have a good plan because once you get in the mix additional ideas additional stresses come in and it, it impairs your judgment and you don't make a, a good decision because I, I know at one time I had talked to a client I made some decision I remember where I was when I made the decision and then I said, why? You know, I caught myself. Why did I make that decision? Then what had happened is I had three questions coming to me from three different areas at one time. And I made that decision. And it was not the right decision. So you see what I'm saying? It wasn't the right decision. And so, there's a, and I think that's where I'm at right now. I got a lot of decisions that are coming up at the same time. Not only do I need to get tires not only do I need to get breaks, not only do I need to get uh, life insurance, but then my wife saw a snake in the basement. Oh, yeah, we need to go out and buy a shed. I need to get one immediately. So that's been dominating. Then we had two birthdays come up. Friday was my daughter's birthday. Today's my wife's birthday. And so all these things are just coming up in this week. And then the next week is on vacation. Then, you know what? I kind of know what it is. We're in the season. It's in the air. It is October. This is the last quarter. That's what I'm feeling. This is the last quarter where things kind of get combined. I need to be more focused and more leaner more than ever right now. My time block going to need to be even bigger in order to navigate this fourth quarter. Because there's a lot of anxiety it just came into me. It's the fourth quarter. It's a lot of anxiety here about we're running out of time. A lot of pressure's coming. Oh, yeah, and on top of that, my daughter looking at trying to buy her first house. And not to mention, a deal with the life. I got a breast cancer race coming up. I got other obligations. I'm telling you, man, this is the fourth quarter. Just uh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for, for bringing it to my remembrance i didn't get a chance to spend the time that i wanted to today praising the lord that's another thing and i was supposed to be doing the, the communion that's another thing i gotta start doing it's gotta be planned it's gotta be done i think my ego has been taking over not wanting making these assumptions i gotta go for the no i got to 
I gotta go for the no. Because if I don't go for the no and go ahead and, and, and tackle these things, tighten up these loose ends, loose ends that shouldn't be loose ends, they should be just cut off. Instead of trying to tie up loose ends, just cut it off. That's it. Just cut it off. Cut off the loose ends. Just think. I mean, that's what this is. We planning, right? We planning. Then on top of that, you know, my son, you know, you know, you want to help them as much as you can. So my question should be, how can I help them the most without discounting today for tomorrow? You know, it's a big question. It's a big question. So now we know where the energy is going. This is fourth quarter vibe because we all connected. Everybody feeling the pressure. I'm literally cool G rap on this Dre record. Yeah, everybody. It's, it's just, that's what it is. It's coming in. It's pressing. But I did write in my planner, of course. You know I'm going to write in it before I come down here. So that's what I did. I wrote in there my plan for the 411. Going with a smaller domino. In some areas, I got to go with a smaller domino. Delegation has always been the biggest thing. You know, just mentioning to other people the thing that you know how to do and enjoy doing. It's hard to delegate that out, right? It is. But doing that may be for the better good, right? Because on this shed, you know, we could we could spend it. I'm, I'm going to make my appeal. This is going to be an appeal, see? This is going to be an appeal to her psyche. I mean... We're just close to paying the house off, right? This three to three to five thousand dollars on the shed that could be going towards paying the house off. I think all all additional funds need to be going towards that. Let's get that knocked out. That's the most pressing priority. Not getting the shed, but. I have all that I need to do what I need to do. But it's still a part that I have to do. I have to do it to that part. I have to do it to that part of my life. I have to do it to those things, those resources, reallocating them, selling them. Hey, what do you have in the house? Go borrow some pots. I'm pretty sure that he said, go, go borrow some, go look in your house. A lot of times we, we don't take inventory. That's the first step. I already took inventory. I know what we got. Second step is execution. Why am I not executing? Because it's these other distractions. That's what it is. Yeah. Just hang it on. Let me just cut, let's cut some stuff loose, man. I just you just gotta do it. Just gotta amputate it. But tonight, at this time, is not the time. I'm going to have to get up earlier. No doubt. It's got to be done earlier. It's got to. You got to find that happy medium. And I think it's got to be at work, right? I got to set an hour at home to do work-related stuff and an hour at work to do home-related stuff. You got to do it. That's the plan. That was the agreement. And that's what I was going to do. That last hour, that's what I was going to do. But the reason I haven't been doing it that last hour because I didn't crush the first 20% of the day. Could I slip that in my time block? Could I? I could, right? The time block is supposed to be for my most most important work, Tony would say I should probably do it, you know, before I go to work. That's why I got to grab the time. That's when I got to do it. The exercise got to come in. And that additional planning got to come in. That's the time I got to capture. I think I got probably an hour and a half to capture in the morning. Start the night. 
So let's get a jump on tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, Asking Mondays, where we ask more powerful questions. I got to make the rule out. I just got to go up and execute. Hey, look, baby, it's time to get to bed. I know you're working on your plan. You want to stay up another. You're off tomorrow. I know you're working on that plan. She don't like to get in bed early because guess what? It's the fourth quarter. It's the fourth quarter of the day. The day's almost gone. The last from 8 to 12. It's the fourth quarter. I got That's when all the work want to get done. It don't matter when it is. It's the fourth quarter. All right. I know when it is. Let's do it. I'm finna do it. You know what I'm finna do. I'm finna go up here, get ready for bed, get ready for tomorrow. Ask the question, what's the one thing that I can do to search by doing it? We'll make everything else I'm gonna do tomorrow easier, some of it unnecessary. That's the plan tonight. Get started tonight. Let's crush out the last quarter. Let's smash it out. Let's leave it all on the tracks. One thing at a time, one domino at a time. That's how I keep my energy in the present. One step. Concentrate on the one step. The next step is the only important step. If I'm on the right path, I've taken the time to make sure I'm on the right path. So now my next step is the one step. If I know that I'm on the right path, then I can just concentrate on the one step. That's right. That's right. And I'm going to listen to One Thing Podcast. I think something good going to be in that as well, too. And I'm going to read my Bible. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to get into that, too. More. I'm going to read it tonight. Because remember I said I was going to start out reading it first thing and go to bed reading it last thing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it to it, to that part of my life. I want you to do what you know to do to that part of your life. And do what you know to do to that thumbs up, that subscribe, and that like. And the notification bell when I post another one. But this is day 358. Man, we down like eight or nine days. Don't feel like I told my son, it's been a year. Has it been a year? It don't even seem like it. It don't. But I got to start adding some more weight on this thing now. I got to add some more weight on it. That's what I'm going to do. So do it to it.